lo he lado. Hi, Wendy. Can you hear me? All right, hello class. So let me see, I already have Wendy and Ramon in the class. Can you hear me guys? Are you there or is the teacher by herself. Será que la teacher se quedó sola entonces? Where are you? Estamos ya listos para esta semana. Muy bien. Recuerden que es ya la última semana de nuestro curso, de nuestro módulo, así que es donde más nos tenemos que poner las pilas, conectarnos, la participación también es muy importante, ¿ok? ¿Cómo van con la plataforma? Wendy en Ramón. Did you already complete the exercises from section number four? Yo le iba a preguntar, fíjense que yo la semana yes. pasada me pude unir varios días. Sí, por exacto. Por lo mismo del trabajo, pero sí. yo ya voy por la sección cinco, no sé por dónde vamos. Well, uh, in this week we are going to start with section number five. So that's all right. It's perfect if you have section number five over. Okay. Muy bien, Ramón. Sí. Eh, sí, comprendo a veces lo del trabajo, pero sí, hagamos nuestro mayor esfuerzo, chicos, por estar pendientes. Porque la idea es que interactuemos, que no solo completemos la plataforma, ¿verdad? Sino que ustedes también se lleven parte del aprendizaje de nuestras sesiones. Para eso son, para apoyarlos, para que podamos poner diferentes ejemplos y que puedan interactuar con los compañeros. ¿okay? Que no solo se basen en una grabación, solo en la plataforma, sino que se unan e interactúen. All right. So let's see, let's start. Ya con Ramón, que tenemos ahí. Wendy no me responde, pero vámonos, Ramón. Vamos a empezar. Let me show you what we have dale, for dale, today. Dale, dale. Teacher. A Wendy, que se me hace. Ay, sí, eh. <risa> Ay, Mire, hasta, hasta hoy han sido, creo que minutitos que nos ha regalado durante todo el curso. No he podido verla, no hemos podido participar en clase. Que se me hace, Wendy. No, hombre, pero es es que lo que pasa es que yo eso le dije a los señores, sí. que si me permitían así, y ellos me dijeron que sí. Bueno. Pero ahí estoy estudiando y ya terminé la, la número cuatro. Muy bien, Wendy, esa es, esa es la actitud. ¿eh? Es la actitud. <risa> <risa> Pero sí le sí. escucho. Y cuando Vaya. no sé algo, vuelvo a oír la clase, digo, ¿qué dijo? Y ahí me vuelvo a repetir. Vaya, bueno, me está bueno, costando, bueno. teacher, pero ahí no. estoy. Aquí estamos, Wendy, cualquier cosa para apoyarla, aquí estamos también, ¿ok? Muy Gracias. bien, Va, ya sabe, Wendy. Gracias por el esfuerzo. Ok, all right, ya se unió. Manuel viene por ahí. Chicos, we are going to start with section number five, the last section that we are going to have in this course. And it means that we are going to have like the final stage or the final topic with the simple past. Practicaron los verbos, regular verbs, irregular verbs, did you practice? Because this is what we are going to do. This is a, a real practice that we are going to have. So in this case, this is class number, clase, vamos, let me see. Solo nos quedan cuatro, pues sí. Ya estuvimos viendo la semana pasada, regulars and irregular verbs. So in this case. Let me show you what we have for today. 
in today's class, as you may see, we are going to have section number five. In section number five, we are going to have some vocabulary and we are going to have, look, um, this topic, the simple past, but we are going to concentrate on a single verb. Un solo verbo nos va a hacer generar una clase completa. Imagínense qué bonito es el inglés. Vamos a enfocarnos en este verbo especial. Es el verb to be. But in this case, we are not going to have the verb in the simple form, simple present form, but we are going to study this verb using the simple past. All right, let's start right now. If I ask you, class, comparemos, hagamos una comparison with the simple present. What is the form of the verb to be in the simple present? Si yo le digo, ¿cuál es el verbo to be en presente? ¿Cuál sería? Which is the, the present form? Let me pick another color. As you may remember, las formas o la forma en que se conjuga este verbo, este verbo especial, sería am, is, and are. Ok, esa es la forma presente. How about in the past? Si hablamos en el pasado, lo veíamos en la clase anterior. Muy bien. Thank you. The simple past of the verb to be, we are going to have was and where. That's it, was and where. Okay, para que empecemos bien, empecemos recordando la información, was and where. ¿En qué categoría ubican ustedes entonces el verb to be? Is this a regular verb? Is this an irregular verb? What do you consider? ¿Qué es el verbo to be? Regular or irregular verb. Ja, Ramón, Manuel, what is that? El, eh, regular verb. ¿Cuáles son los verbos regulares? En el pasado, uh, hablando en el pasado. Talking about the simple past. Not, not change and... Ajá. Uh -huh. And time. Sí. Time. They don't change in spelling and that we are just going to add. ¿Qué le agregamos? E D. E D at the end. Esos son los regular verbs. Entonces, ¿será el verbo to be un verbo regular o irregular? What do you think? Yes. Irregular. Irregular. Why is it irregular? ¿Será que ca cambia la forma de letrearlo? Yes, yes, of course. Yes, um, pronunciation. changes. The pronunciation as well. So the spelling is going to change. It's going to be different. We are not going to add ed at the end. Not really. We are going to write it in a different way. Was and where. So keep that in mind. En el presente o conjugando en pasado, el verbo to be es irregular. Desde que tengo tres formas, de escribir el verbo to be en presente, sé que es un verbo irregular. Cambia su escritura totalmente. The same in the simple past. This is going to be an irregular verb. All right. But before we start with the presentation, let me ask you some questions. Class, what did you do yesterday? Tell me about your activities from yesterday. What did you do? Let's practice the simple past. What did you do? <coughs> mm -hmm. What I did you do? Once again, please. Let me listen again. I was resting the weekend. I was rest. Rest. Yes. All right. I was sleeping. <coughs> Uh, the weekend you were sleeping all right you were sleeping during the weekend what else what else did you do <clears throat> did you 
visit your family? Did you go to the park? Probably. Did you cook during the weekend? What are the activities that you did? I went to the park with my daughter. You went to the park on with Sunday. your daughter on Sunday. Oh yes, yeah, so that you no, went to the my dog, my dog. With your dog, not daughter, no. not teacher. No, with your dog, okay. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's it. Thank you for <coughs> giving me that that correction. Okay, with your dog. Dan Danilo okay. was was study for exam. What kind of exam? Uh, yes, I want to do an exam next for week. Okay. So you're going to have a certification, an exam. Yes. What kind of certification? About what else? Uh, about, huh? Yeah. About what? I didn't get it. That is certification or a called database. A database. Oh, wow. Yes. I know you will do it. Of course, you can do it. Also, I it's... Hope so. <laughs> it's just you, Danilo, or somebody else from the class? Are you going to uh, take an exam? I think that all the class, maybe. Uh -huh. so you're the only one. Okay, that's it. So you would do it great. Believe me, I know you can do it. What else? <laughs> what did you do? So. Did you practice your English? At least, did you listen, did you watch a video with subtitles, probably, or in English? Did you sing? Or did um, you sing a song? Yeah. I, uh -huh. I was called my mom. Okay, you called your mom, uh huh? Yeah. Okay, you called your mom. Vaya, perfecto. Listen, estaba escuchándolos. Yeah, you kind of have the idea. Miren, cuando hablamos del simple past, escuché una cosita. Estamos combinando dos verbos. Y eso es lo que quiero que aclaremos. Tomemos el último ejemplo, ¿ok? Nada personal ahí. I was. Y me dijeron, call or call. No sé si escuché call. My mom. Yes. ¿Ok? Así el verbo en presente. El viernes explicamos, ¿verdad? Para los que estuvieron aquí en la clase, que teníamos dos tipos de preguntas, dos tipos de um, categorías, llamémosle, de verbos en inglés. The first group son aquellos que utilizamos con el verbo to be. ¿Y qué significa el verbo to be en presente? Ser o estar. How about in the past, en el pasado? ¿Cómo traducción? ¿Cómo lo hacen en el pasado? Uh -huh. eh, estaba. Estaba. Uh -huh. Ajá. Estuve o oh, fui. Entonces, fui. analicemos esta. Tengo aquí un verbo, dos verbos en una oración. Ok, la idea es expresar el pasado. Entonces, si lo pasamos ya a inglés, veamos la, bueno, español, perdón. I was, yo estuve o yo fui. Llamar a mi mamá. No puedo usar dos verbos para expresar esta idea. Tiene que ser el verbo ser o estar o otro tipo de verbo. Entonces, ¿cómo lo hago? Yo llamé sujeto. El verbo llamar en pasado, como es un verbo regular, I called my mom. That's it. I called my mom. El verbo to be lo omitimos. No es necesario en este caso. It's not necessary. Vale, me see. Ya van a ver ustedes si creo que sí lo, lo pueden. Lo ubican bastante el verbo to be. So let me ask you about some people. Probablemente reconocen who, where, who were these people? Who were these people? Can you give me some information about these people? What are we going to do? As you may see, we have 10 different cards. Let me see. El primero que me aparece por acá es... It's Manuel. Hi, Manuel. Are you there? Can you pick one number? Just pick one number. Number three. That's all right. Let me see. Okay, class. 
Can you tell me some information about these mm. uh, <laughs> these women? I don't know that. Mm -hmm. She was a princess. She was excellent. She was a princess. Mm -hmm. She died. Dude. She died mm -hmm. in a car accident. Perfect. We went on. Sorry, again. teacher. I don't. I don't uh, uh -huh. have information that people. <laughs> You don't have, don't, don't worry, don't worry, Manuel. Probably from other people. Ya van a ver más imágenes, tal vez de los otros. Sí. Don't worry. So she died in a car accident. She was a princess. Do you know mm. what was her name or her real name? Uh, her name is... Her name uh, is... Princess Diana. Is or no. was? It was uh, Princess Diana. Exactly, her name uh, was, remember in the past, her name was Diana, Diana, that's all right, perfect. Okay, Oscar, can you pick another number? Number uh, nine. Number nine, let's find out about it. Oh, another queen. What do you know about this lady? Is she still alive? Todavía sigue viva y she is still alive or not? No, uh, uh, she is dead. She is, okay, she's dead or she <coughs> uh, died. She died. When did she die? Uh, this Elizabeth, year, last year? Elizabeth uh, with Chabelo. Uh, All right. <laughs> competition. Exactly. So who was the winner? ¿Quién fue el ganador? Uh, they were in a competition with Chabelo, they say. A right? Chabelita. A Chabelita from El Salvador. Exactly. She's the winner, imagine. So, Elizabeth II, she died. Escuchen el verbo en pasado. Died. She died. And she is not uh, alive anymore. All right. Another one. Can you pick another card? Let me see, Jorge, tell me one number. Um, you can pick one of those numbers. Eight. What do you know about this man? Um, Elvis Bradley. Well, uh, yes. it's Elvis, he not was, Elvis. Yes, uh, he was. He was, exactly, he was. Uh, he was an artist uh, uh, and um, sorry, uh, he was a singer. He, he was a singer. Okay, okay. Um, dance. Uh, she, she was dance. Okay, he or she? Oh, perdón, he. Ah, all right. He was a, a dancer, all right. Sí. Do you know his nationality or the country uh, where he was born? Uh, Texas, maybe. All right. Uh, so, he was from United States. Yeah. Okay, that's all right. Let's pick another number. Which one do you want to pick, class? Cualquiera de la clase. Elija uno. We still have number one, number two, four, five, six, seven, and ten. Which one do you want to find out? Number one. All right. Let's find out number one. What do you know about this man? <gasps> mm -hmm. Do you know his real name? Or where... Uh, where he died, probably. Name, what information? Name, no. Yeah, his name was, real name. Einstein. His name he is, was, uh, or his name was. What do you know? His name was. Was because he's dead. Yes, his name was. Uh, Albert Einstein. Okay, Albert. Albert Einstein. What else can you tell? I I think that nationality was. Sign man. He was a scientist. 
O sea, que science, científico, all right. A theoretical. Man. Where was he born? Where were he born? ¿A dónde nació? What do you think? Germany. Yeah, exactly. He was a German. He was from, he was a German born physical. Physicist. All right. What else do you know about him? Was he married? Did he have kids? What do you know about his history? Why was he famous? Mm -hmm. Why do we consider he uh, as a famous man? He was married with Elsa Einstein. All right. ¿Por qué lo conocemos? ¿Por qué teoría? Ni idea, teacher. Uh, teoría de la relatividad. Exactly. Relativity. De la relatividad. Relat relativity. 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 Theory. Theory. Theory, theory. That's right. Vaya, ven que sabemos un poquito de ellos. Pick another number, please. Es cultura general para practicar el simple past. Seven, seven. Seven, let me, let me see. Oh, what do you know about him? Oh, what? first president. Uh, the first? Yeah. <laughs> huh? The first? Yeah, uh, how? The first Once again, what do you know about him? He was, the, Obama. Listen, he was, he was first, excellent. He was the first. He was the first uh, black president. president. Uh, all right, all right. He was the first. Let's not um, say black, but yeah, I know uh, what you mean. Yeah. It exists a, a scene that the name is my first name is black. Oh, okay, okay. So, what his name or what was his name? Is he still alive? Yes. Yes. Is, so? is this racism? <laughs> he was a president, but the, so, the exactly. person is alive. There we go. He was a president. His name is yes. Barack <laughs> Obama. Nice. Obama, they say, but no, it's Obama. It's not Obama. It's Obama. Obama. Yeah, the same as here. Elvis, no. Elvis. Elvis. Entonces, sí, ya ven la diferencia. Presente, pasado. His name is. He was a president. The 44th president of the United States. Number two, four, five. Number 10 and number six. Which one are you going to pick? Ten. The last one, number 10. What do you know about him? About his life? His name was? Uh, Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. What do you know about his family? How many brothers or sisters? He was thing. He, he was thing, okay. He was. Uh, General Pop. He okay. was a very, very very personal uh, dancing dance exactly um, he was famous because of he was, the way he, was, he danced he was not satisfied satisfied with his skin color he exactly he wasn't satisfied with the skin color he had um how about his country where uh, where was he born I think that he is, he was born in the United States. Yes, exactly. He was an American guy. He was <clears throat> American. There we go. Number two, four, five, six. Two. What do you know about this lady? Marilyn Monroe. Mm -hmm. Was she a singer, an actress? I uh, I think uh, uh, she was uh, um, yeah she was a excellent popular person okay a famous we can say a famous and popular person she was an actress she was an because, actress 
Exactly. And because was considered no. the most beautiful woman in the world. All right. Mm -hmm. So she was famous. Why? Because she was an American actress, right? Probably she was a model, I, I may say. A singer. I, I, I kind of remember that she was I like a singer. Yeah. I don't know, but I know that she was an actress. Okay, all right. She so, was a beautiful woman. She was, exactly. She was a very beautiful woman. And she was famous because of the... Um, I don't know if this was true, right? But the some uh, relations relationships that they that she had with some presidents or famous people before she she died, right? Do you know about her, her real name, or is Marilyn Monroe was Marilyn Monroe her real name? Her real name is Norma. What is it? Mm -hmm. Norma. It was Norma, Norma. It, it wasn't Marilyn. So let me pick one. I, I'm going to pick this one, number five. Oh, what do you know about him? Robin Williams. Was he a singer, an actor? He a was actor. A, All right. He was an a actor. A very good comedian. Exactly. Uh, probably most of his movies were based on comic, right? So Robin Williams. Can you mention some of his yeah. most famous movies? Your history is sad. Mm -hmm. Why? Uh, because um, he was uh, the... He was found. Depression. Oh, exactly. He did because of depression. It wasn't because of the disease, right? Oh, no, no fue en si una disease. Do you know what is the meaning of disease? Enfermedad? Disease? Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Yeah. Depression so, is, mm -hmm. is uh, sick. Sick. No. Mm -hmm. Sick. All right, that, that's it. So he died because of uh, he committed. He, he, he was committed. A depression. He was depressed. Right? Imagine he was a pretty he happy was depression. man. He, he was, was a depression, depressed. but he is a comedian. Imagine, even he was like making people around him smile and have a great time. Well, well, people probably didn't know that he was going through a depression situation. That's really sad, right? Was he died or is alive? He died. He committed su suicide. Suicide, yeah. How about Frida? What do you know about Frida? Uh, she was a um, person popular. The, exactly. in, in Mexico. She was a Mexican girl. Uh -huh. Why was she famous? The power wo woman. Okay. Was she a singer, an actress, a writer? What information do you have about her? I don't know information. You don't know that much about Frida? Mm -hmm. How do you say pintora? What, what idea comes to your mind whenever you say pintora? Tiene que ver con el nombre y el verbo pintar. Paint. Paint. A famous? Yes. Painter. Okay, right. So Frida, yeah. She was from Mexico. She was very famous. What else do you know about Frida? You don't have that much information. No. Eyebrows. <laughs> Eyebrows. Mm -hmm. It was a one. Eye. Yeah, because of her yeah. appearance, probably we can recognize her very easily. But yeah, she was a very famous Mexican painter or painter. Painter, you can pronounce it as well. So, yeah. 
she was famous because of she tried to portray herself in the paint that she was like creating. Se pintaba a sí misma muchas veces, like trying to tell some issues or situations she was facing or that she was going through. That's why she was a very recognized girl back in the days. The last one. Oh, here we have another president. What do you know about this guy? Uh, he was president of uh, the uh, United States. Exactly. He was the president of the United States. Um, he... Um, what do you know about his death? He, he was there uh, for assassin. Ah, and how do we say that? Cuando alguien lo asesina, ¿cómo se, cómo se llama esa, esa situación? Why is that? Mm -hmm. He was as a, as mur a... murdered. Murder. Lo puede escribir. Murder. Murder. Ah, sí. That sound like a lot of... Se me borró por acá. Ajá, alguien más lo mató. Murdered. Cuando alguien eh, comete suicidio, ¿cómo decíamos? Suso. Miren acá. Committed. O sea, hizo. Committed suicidio. Vamos a ver el spelling si va con doble. Ya, yeah, committed. Así va, muy bien. Danilo, comment. Suicide. Ahí está. Suicide. He committed suicide. Este es en el caso de Robin Williams. O si no sabemos en si la causa de la muerte. No. He passed. Podemos decir. Él murió. Away. Murió. O podemos decir he died. Que es la más fácil de recordar. We died. Cuatro formas de, de hablar sobre la vida de una persona. En la primera es, he was, she was murdered. Lo asesinaron. He or she was. En la segunda, he or she committed suicide. En la tercera, he or she passed away. Or he or she died. Cuatro formas, ahí también nota de... Cómo hablar de la muerte de alguien o de la vida de alguien. Ok, questions about this exercise. Cuando hablamos de alguien que ya falleció, siempre tenemos que, que contar toda su historia en pasado. Su nombre, él nació, él vivió. Su nombre era... Past, simple past. No podemos decir his name is. En el caso de Barack Obama sí lo hicimos. Porque he is still alive. His name is. He was a president. ¿Por qué? Es una acción que ya finalizó. Vale, revisemos eso. How do we express ideas using the simple past? In this case, with the verb to be. It's quite easy. As you may see, we were reviewing this information in the previous class. And we can conclude that we are just going to have two forms of the simple past of the verb to be was and where. Take a look at the affirmative statements that we have here. ¿Qué sujeto voy a ocupar con was? La primera persona, I. I y la tercera she, persona, he, she, and it. Eso irían con was. El resto de los sujetos, que sería you, we, and they. Aquellos que van en plural. Okay. So, vamos a ocupar where. Así se conjugaría. In this case, take a look at here. What do we have? The information that we have in the first one. Esta sí es una oración o una pregunta fija. Que si se fijan, tenemos la expresión was, el verbo en pasado, y tenemos el verbo born. Ah, ok. Como les decía, es algo fijo que no podemos cambiar. 
I was born. Aquí sí tenemos que incluir el verbo was porque indicamos de pasado y born. I was born. ¿Ok? Si se fijan en el resto de ejemplos, we don't have any other verb. No hay ningún otro verbo que se esté ocupando. So, you were, y tenemos un complemento que no necesariamente es otro verbo. Aquí tenemos otra vez, miren, el verbo born. Entonces, was and born, were and born, eso sí, siempre van juntos, no hay forma de separarlos. We cannot split those verbs. So, Affirmative statements. I was born in El Salvador. I was born in the United States. Born, born, born. El verbo se conjuga en presente, nunca en pasado. I was born. Okay? As you may see, we can also have negative statements. I wasn't born in Italy. I was born in El Salvador. You were pretty young. You were pretty young. ¿Qué quiere decir esta oración? Tú eras, hay que, pretty young. ¿Joven y bonita? No, no, really. No, no, no. El pretty aquí no tiene función de adjetivo. No está diciendo bonita, sino muy joven. Eras muy joven. Pretty. Puede servirnos también para hacer ese realce de información. No eras simplemente joven, eras muy joven. Y no significa que eras bonita y joven, no. Pretty young, muy joven. Pretty es un sinónimo de... Cuando nosotros ocupamos, ¿se han fijado esta palabra? Very. ¿Qué significan ambas? Muy. Para dar realza a la información. You are very intelligent. No sos inteligente, sos muy inteligente. Así es lo mismo con pretty. Pretty young. Uh, for example, the movie, Pretty Woman. Ah, in that case, this is working as an adjective. In that case, yes. Mujer bonita. Ese sí es un adjetivo. ¿Quién es bonita? The woman is pretty. Pero acá está sirviendo como un complemento. Para realzar la información. She was seven. Ella tenía siete. She was seven. We were at the hair salon. They were born in Milan. Negative statements. Igual, clase anterior, repasábamos. Dos formas de redactar el verbo to be. Forma corta, forma completa. In this case, the short form of were and not weren't. Weren't, que se, se pronuncia en una sola sílaba, weren't, nunca decimos weren't, no, solo una, weren't, wasn't, wasn't, aquí sí, dos sílabas, wasn't, or was not, ok, affirmative, negative, but what do we need to practice a little bit more is the interrogative form, why, because in that way, we can practice the correct form of replying or giving a reply. Okay? Veamos esta fórmula. Si se van a la plataforma, there you have a short video, an explanation about the formula that you need to follow, some examples. So, tomémonos un tiempo para revisar la plataforma y luego volvemos con este ejercicio. This is going to be a speaking practice. That's it. So, the statements with the pass of verb to be. ¿En dónde está la section number five? Here we go. Un poco la explicación. Tomamos de ahí algunos ejemplos. Let's go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you learn to form positive and negative statements using the past of be. Additionally, we'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I was born in Korea. Let's listen and practice. I was born in Korea. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the US? No, I came here in 1999. Hmm, you were pretty young. Yes, 
I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Okay, let me stop here. Take a look at the conversation once again. I was born in Korea. I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S.? No, I came here in 1999. Hmm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Okay, but I was born here. What is the conversation about? What is the title of the conversation? ¿Cómo se llama esa conversation? I was born in Korea. I was born in Korea. I was born. Who was born in Korea? Was Shock or Melissa? Who was born in Korea? Melissa. Melissa, and what is the question that Shock is asking? Where you where where were you born? Okay, ¿cómo se pronuncia la primera y la segunda? Ambas se parecen, son muy similares. O las dos suenan where where. Where where. Uh -huh. eh, where tiene where, según uh -huh. recuerdo en las clases que hemos estado haciendo es que uh -huh. cuando es W Tiene un, un alza hacia arriba la pronunciación. Ok, y, ok, ok. ¿Qué más? Y, y where tendría que ser más constante, no tan elevado el tono. Ok, so where, y, igual, la WH word tiene una tendencia a sonar un poquito como una J, imagínense qué raro. Where, 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 este sí es más where, where were you born, where were you born. Where were you born, Melissa? ¿En dónde naciste, Melissa? What is the reply that she's giving? I was... I was born in... Korea. In Korea. Class, where were you born? Give me your information. Where were you born? Were you born in Korea? I wasn't born in Korea. I wasn't born in Korea. Amazing reply. I wasn't born in Korea. I was born in El Salvador. We are Salvadorian. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S. ¿Qué significa? Where are these guys at this moment? ¿A dónde se encuentran? Where are they? Um, USA. Exactly. Listen, Why? how do we know? So you weren't born in the U.S. Uh, she's she said uh, mm -hmm. uh, um, your uh, English is bad. Okay, okay. She well, who is saying yes. that her English is bad? Quién dijo eso? Who said that? Yo. Oh. Jorge. Pero no será que bueno. Shock le dijo tu inglés es malo? What what did he say? Ah, uh, no, no. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, I think uh, because Melissa uh, is uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, is this Korea? Okay, but take a look at the expression. Yeah, yeah, I got your your reply. I know what you mean. She is expressing I came here in nineteen ninety. That's I why we that can uh -huh. she, tell me. Yes. She, she was born. She don't. She. She wasn't born in the U.S. Oh, in, for this yeah. All right. She, uh, uh, maybe she. She is an American. Okay. I think. That's it. That's it. There we go. So I was. I was born in Korea. She wasn't born in the U.S. So back in the days, back in the time, in 1999, probably she arrived, she moved to the United States. Oigan los verbos en pasado. 
She for for studies maybe for work maybe. Can assume exactly. Look at the example that we have here. Melissa was pretty young. You were pretty young. Estabas muy joven. Lo que estábamos viendo. You were. You were pretty young. Aquí ocupamos el verbo to be. Yes, I was. I was only 17. She was only 17 back in the day. Did you go to college right away? Otra pregunta. ¿Qué tipo de pregunta tenemos acá? Es una yes, no question. Did, did you go to challenge right away? Mm -hmm. Did. ¿Por qué ocupo el auxiliar did? ¿Por qué no ocupo was or where? Ah, ah sí. Miren, estoy ocupando el verbo go, por eso necesito otro auxiliar para hacer preguntas. Did you go? No puedo ocupar ni was ni where. Did you go to college right away? Do you know the meaning of right away? Yes, it's it synonymo to immediate. Time. Immediately, exactly. In an immediate or in a short frame of time. En un periodo corto de tiempo. Did you go to college right away? No. Why not? She didn't go to college. Why she didn't attend to classes in an immediate time? ¿Por qué creen que no fue college? Because her English, yes. For her English was, was on my Exactly. It means that her English, when she arrived to the state, wasn't very good. So, instead of going to college, uh, do you know what is the meaning of college? ¿Qué es college, entonces? University. Exactly. ¿Qué es la diferencia entre university and college? What's the difference? The name, I think. Not really. <laughs> mm -hmm. Aprendamos algo nuevo. ¿Qué es el college? Ya aprendieron que es pretty young. Es, right es away, como, you know? como el, el intermedio antes de llegar a la, a la universidad. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. Vaya, let's... El, el... Let me give you an idea. You know? University. We Hola. go... Ajá, dígame la idea. Antes que yo la diga. Yes, tell me. Ah, como, maestro, como una especialidad o maestría. Not really, no. Eso sería university, university. Ah, no pero college. La, la, la universidad, el college es el, el, como el técnico o algo que voy a hacer. The, un técnico. All right, so yes, the places are different. If you go to the university of, if you study in the university, it means that you're going to study um, for a longer period of time and your certification at the end is going to be different from the ones who go to college. College is a technical place in which you go and study uh, at least two years or mostly three years. Is for example, in El Salvador, we have ITCA that you can go and study technical careers technical but you cannot but, go uh, uh -huh. technical career exactly so that is college college sería como acá le llamamos al itca se me ocurre nada más son carreras técnicas no son licenciaturas but in no the university, no maestría. the place the exactly. place the university have a mm -hmm. technical career no, only ITCA, mm -hmm. for example. Exactly. Ajá. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, pero no todas las universidades igual, they, they have technical. O lo contrario, los college, eh, muchas veces no ofrecen I, carreras. I don't know, but I, mm -hmm. I think that the old university have a technical career. Yeah, right. But I, but they I must. Mm -hmm. So probably, right? But that's quite different. You know, eh, mostly in the in United States, they have this difference. Hay, carre hay universidades o lugares muy marcados. Aquí en El Salvador, we have that advantage, esa ventaja that you can go to the same place and you can pick a technical career or you can also have um, the chance to 
study at the beginning a technical career and at the end make the complementary studies. So that's quite the difference. Uh, did you go to college? No, no fue a la universidad. She didn't. Why not? Because her English wasn't very good. So, look, miren el verbo en pasado. She took, I took English classes for two years first. Oh, okay, miren el cumplido que les haciendo. The compliment. Your English is really good now. ¿Qué le dice Melissa? Hmm? Thanks. Ah, miren acá, ocupamos otra vez el pretty. ¿Qué quiere decir entonces pretty? What's the meaning of pretty in this context? Muy bueno. Your English is pretty good too. ¿Y qué le dice Chuck al final? Yeah, but... I was born here. I was born here. What does it mean? ¿Qué significa entonces? He is saying that he was born in the U.S. But he is not authentic as well. That his first language or his mother tongue is English. Es como yes. que nos digan a nosotros, tu español es muy bonito. Tu native language. Uh -huh. <laughs> tu español es muy bonito, pero yo nací en El Salvador. Ah, ok, algo así es lo que le está queriendo decir. Yeah, but I was born here. So, questions about this conversation, probably in pronunciation, in vocabulary, the meaning of some new words. Pregunta de esta conversación between Chuck and Melissa. Preguntas, not questions. No. Not really. Okay, aquí van mis preguntas. Who was, escuchen bien, who was born in Korea? Who was born in Korea? Melissa. Melissa was born in Korea. Okay, or we can say Melissa was. Respuesta corta. Melissa was. Melissa was born in Korea. Who was born in the United States? Shock was. was. All right. Shock was. Was Melissa... No, let me change the question. Did Melissa study at college right away? Yes, no. Did she go to college right away in 1999? No, because her English wasn't very good. Because her English, excellent, wasn't that good. There we go. Her English wasn't that good. That's it. Okay, do you recognize? Pueden reconocer algunos de los ejemplos acá. In this case, we only have I was born. You were pretty young. This is what we need to use. Okay, look, if you could notice, they were having the conversation at a hair salon. What does it mean that Chuck, he is a hair stylist? So they were having the conversation at the hair salon. We were at the hair salon. Tal vez ellos pueden decir esto, Chuck and Melissa. We were at the hair salon. Okay. ¿Qué más podemos rescatar de acá? They were at the hair salon. In the conversation, they weren't at the cafe. Or we weren't at the cafe. All right. So help me out. Para finalizar, leamos la conversación. ¿Quién me ayuda? Tenemos a Chuck en Melissa. So, it means that I need to volunteer so I can listen to the correct Yo. pronunciation. Jorge, and who's the other one? Oh, uh, Chuck. Okay, you're going to pick Chuck, okay? So, Danilo, it means that you're going to read Melissa's information. Okay. Go ahead, please. Three, two, and one. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in you in the USA? No, I came here in 1999. Mm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to challenge right away? 
No, my English was not very good. So I took English classes for two years. Prior. Well, your English is really how good now? Thanks, your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Yeah, but I was born here. Excellent. How? College. Let's repeat this one. College. 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 Uh huh. That's the only correction. Dos más. Vamos. Oscar. Elija alguien, Oscar. Who's going to participate okay. with you? Great job, guys. Manuel. Okay, Oscar. Who do you want to be? Chuck or Melissa? Chuck. Okay, you're going to play Chuck. It means that uh, Manuel is going to read Melissa's information. Si está por ahí, Manuel. Hi, Manuel. Oh. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Okay. <laughs> Yo mismo respondo. Oh. Mi mismo oh. día. No, no, tranquilo, Oscar. Yo le ayudo. Chicos, alguien más. Edwin. Are you there, with Edwin or Ramon? Sorry, teacher. Ah, ¿dónde andaba, Manuel? Where were you? <laughs> uh, I was born in Korea. Okay, continue. Go ahead. Oh, so you weren't born in the USA? No, I came here in 1999. Uh, exactly. Mm, you were very young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right, right away? No, my English wasn't very good. So I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good. Thanks, your English is very good too. Yeah, but I was going to Excellent, amazing. Listen, US. US. Escuché USA. Claro. Hay cinco formas de abreviar o de referirnos a Estados Unidos. In this case, esto es una de las cinco. US. También está USA. US, USA, the United States. United States. Okay. Son como las formas cortas de abbreviations. Igual, lo mismo. Leemos los años two by two. First, we're going to read the first two digits, 19. And then we're going to read the rest or the two last digits, 1999. Así leemos. Bien, clase. Preguntas. Questions about this pronunciation, the meaning of the conversation. Preguntas. Pregúntame. No, ya no más por ahora. Vaya. No crean que es el final de was and where. No. Mañana tenemos más conversaciones con was and where. Vamos a hacerlo eh, igual. Me, me gusta escucharlos. Speaking practice. A ver qué tanto conocemos del tema y eh, de qué forma puedo ayudarle, ¿verdad? So, that's it. Time is over. We are going to continue in tomorrow's class. Thank you, class, for joining and participating. Let's continue tomorrow. Bye, Have a good afternoon. Bye-bye. Take care. Cuídense. Okay, bye, teacher. Bye-bye. Take care.